Hello lovies, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for all being here today. We're going to be doing a little ghosted slash non-communication, no contact um, video reading today. So if that's your situation, keep watching guys. Um, the extended part of this is going to be on Patreon as well guys. So the link to Patreon is in the description box below this video. It is patreon.com forward slash Queen Diane. Um, and if you just want something a bit more personal as well, you can book a personal reading with me. The details of how to book are in the description below as well. And please do like and subscribe if you haven't, because it really helps me out. And I'd love to have you as part of the fam. All right, let's see. Um, I want to look into what was going on with your person at the time, at the time they just kind of stopped talking, like what may have been going on around them then. Okay, um, and whatever comes out in this reading, take it how it resonates, guys. Obviously, we're not making excuses for someone ghosting, but there can be reasons behind it, you know. Um, but you know, ghosting is very immature behavior, so you know, it's likely your person just wasn't emotionally. Um, very mature at the time. What have we got here? Okay, pride getting in the way. Pride, ego, arrogance, stubborn love. You may have even been dealing with a Leo. Loss, grief, sorrow, pain. And only you fixated, attached, hypnotized. So I feel like a couple of things already here. Um, See, the thing is, your person was starting to get really attached to you, all right? And they were starting to feel a bit kind of out of control. Um, and it, it's like their pride came in here and it just even stubbornly wanted to resist that. But it's like their pride came in and, and kind of took over. Um, and in a way to try and protect themselves was like, I've got to, I've got to kind of, cut this off you know I've got to kind of take a loss here um so that I, I start to sort of detach remove myself from the situation you know because they knew they were coming like I'm hearing the word hooked like absolutely hooked on you okay so there was that going on okay really um really feeling the feels and panicking okay not wanting to feel like I'm dependent on you that is to do with this ego talk you know um, also, yeah, loss, grief, sorrow, pain here. So some of them may have um, been going through some it's unresolved grief, okay? So it could be from way back when, um, issues of, um, of grief coming up for this person. So they may have lost someone really close to them in the past, and then they felt how close they were getting to you again it's this panic like i don't want to lose anyone else again so for some of you that could be what was going on with this person i it's kind of weird because i feel like um some of you may know that about your person that there, there is this issue that they've lost someone close to them could be a parent could be a close friend but i'm weirdly getting that some of you didn't actually know um about this loss so they may have just literally just stopped talking and had you know they just hadn't explained to you that this had gone on um something really suddenly sudden loss you know for this person so interesting all right um i do feel this is like my spying card this i do feel they're actually still watching you at this current time so they may not be talking but they're still um Keeping an eye on your life, really. Trying to keep up to date. So that could be on social media. Could be in real life if you live near them. Let's see, what else was going on with this person? I feel like I've forgotten to announce something to you guys, but I can't remember <laughs> at all what it is. If this is resonating, by the way, in the extended, we'll look at what this person does want to say to you. What they would say if they felt like they could. So direct messages from them to you using the oracles. Um, and also I want to look at what action, what potential action they may be taking towards you in September. What else is going on with 
this person? Oh, it's, it's all this kind of detachment coming out. King of Swords, Aquarius energy. Could be a, a Libra or Gemini as well. This is more Aquarius for me though, but um, detaching. Fear, absolute fear of these feels that they were feeling. So like I said, they were becoming extremely attached to you. And they, I, I just keep hearing that word, panic. They absolutely panicked. They lost it. They were like, I've got to get out of here. <laughs> you know, they just dipped out. Okay, so, um, yeah, just, just cutting everything off really suddenly, I feel, here. Um, when the thing is about this King of Swords, that's the thing with them. They give off this impression of being really cold and detached and, and kind of unfeeling uncaring and, and but deep down they are absolutely um it's just overwhelmed with feelings for you okay um, because i just feel like um you feel this person just doesn't care about you you're not really worth worth anything to them but you are Okay, we've got a few things coming out here. Okay, so yeah, I, I don't know where to start. It's quite a lot coming out with this. Eight of Wands, okay, so yeah, communication, they just shut it off. Um, it's a way of protecting their heart, really, um, as much as it hurts you. They're hurting themselves too, because, you know, they're cutting off their nose to spite their face type thing. Um, but even in this card, he's got a sword raised over his heart to keep people out. Um, an eight and nine of coins. So for some of you, your person actually just became really focused on work. Now, either that was them trying to distract themselves um, from you, you know, take their mind off how they feel about you, um, or it, it's just became a kind of obsession for them working a workaholic and so some of them may have felt like they just couldn't um focus their attention on you and work and work was a priority for them for some reason they could be someone who's self-employed so they may have felt quite um overwhelmed at, you know it's quite i'm self-employed you know it's quite um uh, you know, nerve-wracking at times, just trying to kind of keep income coming in and all that kind of stuff. So this person may have just got a bit um, obsessed with work, I feel like, and just trying to... That's where their attention went. Okay, let's have a look at... I'm doing this a weird way today. Let's have a look at what their, their feelings are for you at the moment. <clears throat> What's going on in their heart space? And, and every time I do these non-communication, no contact, whatever, readings, I always get an issue with my throat chakra. So <clears throat> it's like, I, I mean, I practically feel like I've got a bubble in my throat or something. Like I'm, I'm struggling to get the whole power of my voice out. You know, it's just weird. So this person, Although they're not speaking at the moment, how are they feeling about my viewer watching? Let's get three out. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. Oh God, yeah, look, shattered, damaged, broken hearted, destroyed. As I said, cutting their nose off to spite their face because this whole prize ego talk came in. You know, it's telling them, cut your losses, get out now, you're getting too attached, go away. But it leaves them feeling like this, okay? So, you know, when I eventually get my own deck published, which by the way is coming soon, <laughs> I've got a card and it's like I, I broke my own heart when I broke yours and I'm hearing that so strongly just, just now. So, I mean, they're absolutely devil over the situation between the two of you right now, all right? And I feel like they would like nothing more than to be talking to you right now 
Um, depending how long this has gone on between the two of you, you know, if it's been a long time, that I'm, there's, you know, a couple of eights here. I feel like this could be uh, eight months, even for some of you, eight to nine months, maybe longer. Almost like the longer this goes on, the more like embarrassed they're getting and the more ashamed um, they feel. You know, it's just kind of making it awkward for them to just pop up and be like, hi, <laughs> you know. Fantasy, dreams, fairy tale, imagination. So they are still fantasizing over you. Feeling, I, I mean, this is Prince of Wands for me in this deck. Um, so feeling that lust for you and feeling very passionate about you as well. But they're also dreaming about you. I bet you're getting really vivid dreams about this person. Um, could even be almost every night, okay? So, I mean, I feel like they're having sexual dreams about you as well, but this has probably gone on between the two of you. And the fairy tale, I it's, it's weird because I feel like they still really, they, they imagine your future a lot and what a fairy tale it, it could be and it should be. And it would, would have been if they hadn't dipped out like this. But this is the thing, if someone is doing that, they're not ready for the connection, you know, and they've got to go away and they've got to work on themselves and come back. Okay, so it kind of has to happen, you know, for them to um, spiritually ascend, you know, to grow. But yeah, they do picture your your future life together a lot. Look, I'm seeing the Ten of Cups right now. Some of you may even be dealing with a water sign, but that's how they kind of imagine things eventually coming back together. Very traditional um, marriage, kids and all that kind of thing. So I do, I feel this person is quite tra traditional. Um, with this King of Swords here as well, I know this is kind of what we were looking into at the time where they just stopped talking, what they were going through, but I'm, I'm getting strategizing because that's what the king of swords is about strategizing formulating a plan and i do feel like they are trying to plan a way to come forward and speak to you they're planning out what to say um this is the type of person they're quite like i've still got another card to go into by the way um <laughs> just a lot's coming through about this they um they're very meticulous okay and i, I kind of I've been getting this, um, I feel like it was in quite a recent, I don't know if it was one of my Zodiac readings or Patreon, but someone actually typing out messages and deleting them. I wouldn't be surprised if this person's been doing that, okay? And loyalty, dedication, trust, um, reliability. They are still loyal and dedicated to you, believe it or not, despite these 3D actions or lack of they are still dedicated to you and they, they feel um that this is how you've been to them as well loyal and dedicated they can rely on you and you haven't been able to rely on them the same way maybe some of you guys um even have dogs or just really like dogs here as well um but yeah they they do recognize um that you've always been there for them so let's get a little bit more let's get let's have a look before we go to the extended okay as i said in the extended on patreon uh the link is in this description under under this video and um, i'll be looking at exactly what they want to say to you what they've been thinking what they want to say what they may have even typed out in these messages and deleted so direct messages from them to you but i also want to look into what is the possible action if any they are going to take in september to you and um, but let's just have a look at what's kind of going on around them right now that may be affecting things 
Um, also make sure you're following me on TikTok and Instagram at Queen Diane two 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 lovies for extra content. Why do I feel like I've got something else to tell you? I just don't know. It's weird. I'll probably remember after. Okay. But anyway, how are they feeling? What's going on just now? All right. So they are in this planning. This is future thinking. And as I said, I really feel like they are looking to the future, having their eye on the price and thinking what they want with you and how to um, how to achieve that. Okay, so there's something kind of like this planning, strategizing stage. Okay, now we've, we've got the full and also the bottom of the deck where I stopped shuffling is the chariot so cancer aries aquarius energy leo aries sad so and the star underneath that and judgment oh my god guys and the emperor <laughs> so i don't know why i was guided to just look there but look star judgment emperor <sighs> massive shift in energy i mean gargantuan shift in energy coming here all right, four of cups, three of swords. Okay, I'm just, I could just keep going down this deck. Page of coins, a little offer, a little kind of rekindling, reaching out here, right? But anyway, look at all this major arcana. So I mean, okay, this person obviously is thinking about just taking that leap of faith, sending that text, throwing caution to the wind, just tr just trying to put the feelers out there. They want a new start with you. They want to come home. This is about someone coming home, all right? So mm, things have been quiet because they have really been, um, really been preparing themselves to get to the stage with you, I feel. You know, and working on themselves and healing and all that. It's Aquarius energy. And manifesting and hoping and wishing that they haven't caused too much damage, you know. And judgment is about second chances. Um, resurrection, you know. So you may have even been thinking like this is dead and gone dead and gone, never going to hear from them again, and, and and all of a sudden out of the blue, then they show up here in this full energy. So this, this is like things really coming back from the dead. Chariot, obviously we've got fast moving, um, fast moving action, a lot of communication and a lot of just closing emotional distance masculine and feminine energy coming back together it can be travel as well so some of you may even be at a distance as well which is just you know another little kind of obstacle um with with this person in communication perhaps they if you're at a distance you know they almost find it easier to just just cut off communication because they're not seeing you all the time. And it's not, and you know, it doesn't mean that they can just forget about you and get you out of their mind because it's the complete opposite, you know, and they're heartbroken over this. But they, they just may have thought they could do that, you know, being a fool, <laughs> being a fool about this, you know, emperor taking charge, getting determined. Um, this is how you want this person to come back, you know, the embodiment of all the kings here. All right, so they're obviously doing a lot of emotional growth at this time. They're really preparing to, to do something epic with you, to take a, a really epic leap forward, I feel like, okay? Aries energy as well, because, I mean, they, they regret this lost opportunity with you this loss they could be grieving the loss of of you right now almost um you know not taking that opportunity with you um 
they don't want to lose you to someone else even i'm getting you know there's potential that they might lose you to someone else you might have someone else around you just now okay and yeah, again, the Three of Swords, just the utter devastation um, they have been feeling at the moment about this. Just stabbed through the heart. They stabbed themselves through the heart. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, again here. This, this, this real broken heartedness coming through. So yeah. Um, we've got this, we've got this communication coming out here, all right? They, they've been thinking, I, I honestly feel like writing messages and deleting, as I say, just almost pressing send, but not. But, you know, there is this little message coming forward. I feel this is more, I feel this is more like a text from this person. Okay, just to see, <laughs> I actually kind of feel, I just got to see if you've even blocked them. <laughs> They're not sure if they reach out, if you're even going to get their message, right? So maybe not feeling, mm, yeah, probably probably not feeling like the, the most confident because they've left it for so long. But then it's kind of like mind over matter, the emperor comes out, they just do it. You could be dealing with a younger earth sign as well here. Um, okay, there is something coming forward, a little, a little message, all right, so as I said, we're going to look into what that message is in the extended, um, but if you have liked this reading, guys, if it resonated, please do give me an actual thumbs up because it helps everyone to see the video on YouTube, otherwise it doesn't really get circulated. Um, <laughs> And also subscribe if you haven't. We'd love to have you as part of the Royal Fam. Put those notification bells on so you don't miss any future videos. And a massive shout out to everyone who is already on Patreon because thank you for supporting my work and letting me continue making these um, free readings for YouTube. But I'll see you over in the extended and we'll find out what this little ghoster wants to say to you. Um, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye.